You're from the Scolia Arcana, aren't you? <laughs> Here to embarrass me? Well, I don't care. I'm glad I was dismissed. I'll drink to it, in fact. So you met my sister? She's been in Rathia almost as long as I have, following me around. I don't have the heart to tell her. I'm her hero, and I'm nothing but a drunk. Oh, please don't tell her what happened. Kestia, man. Think he's got the only table in those tunnels and the best game in town. <laughs> those cowards dismissed me. <laughs> Afraid of me. Afraid of how difficult it would be to train me. <laughs> One thing I've learned. The ladies here are like the spire. Breathtakingly beautiful and completely unassailable. Especially to a failure like me. What is this? Ah, it was only a matter of time before the army found me out. Just my luck. This calls for another drink. I'll have to pack my things. Ah, Alison, how do I tell my sister? Where will she live? How will she live? <laughs> Let them sleep in their lofty towers. I'm headed for a real life. Not sitting in front of books all day and being condescended to. Army wages can pay for Alison now, but I'm leaving her. I'll send money. I hope she doesn't end up in the wending. Rose, another ale. Make that too. Glad to do. What can I get you, love? <laughs> Baron showed me the Scolia Arcana. So many scowling old birds. So you met my brother. Was he at the tavern again? Did he mention when I could go see him at the Scolia Arcana chapter house? What? He was dismissed? How did that happen? He's been lying to me. I can't believe it. Thank you for telling me. I still can't believe he lied to me. My own brother. I don't know what to do now. I'm sorry, but I don't really want to think about the Scolia Arcana anymore. You can go see them in Upper City if you want. So long. What can I get you? <laughs> Pull up a chair. Have a drink. Sea foam tavern. Food, drink, and beds for all. A room. We've got rooms. Don't mind a flea or two. The sheets might be fresher, but I, we've got rooms. As you like, it's all the same to me. Here's how Rathir is. At first glance, you see naught but marvels. Look again, and you'll note the flaws and cracks. Take a third glance, and through those cracks, more marvels. <laughs> more true to that than you know. <laughs>
This is the only establishment in all Rathir that's not Alpha Run. The last owner passed away three years back. They let me have it, seeing as I'd lived and worked some 20 years upon this rock. Get this. I wake up yesterday morning with the worst headache, no shirt, and a note that I'm fighting a duel. Me? Fighting a duel? I don't know how I got into it, but it's all rot unless I can find a second. I swear I don't remember a thing. Apparently, I challenged Dalton Ames, the war hero, over the honor of my sister. I do seem to remember him and his bulky arm sitting smugly in the sea foam, taunting me. Surely you've heard of him. Back from Cluricon, and everyone's talking about his exploits on the battlefield. They used to talk about my exploits with society daughters, but... Hmm. Proud son of forsted traders, my name is gold in every watering hole and bored house in Rathir, and... Well, I'm not really allowed out of Rathir. You can't fight a duel without one. Now, you... Might be thinking, a popular fellow like Waylon, what trouble could he have finding a second? Well, turns out my friends are all drunken cowards. Look, you seem tough enough. Be my second, and I'll make it worth your while. Thank Lupoku. There is something else I should mention. There is no way in all Amalur I'll win this fight. So I've devised a plan. Before you go to Dalton, that's my opponent, find Gelfine in the Wending and ask for some Rose of Shadows. She'll know what you mean. Then go to the Officer's Hall in the Burn and on the sly, 
put some on Dalton's sword point when you inspect it. After you've got the rows of shadows from Gelfine and the Wending, you've got to talk to Dalton in the officer's hall. Tell him I'm ready. He'll show you his dueling sword. Dab a bit of the rows of shadows on it. Then come back to me. <laughs> All in good time, my friend. All in good time. The way I see it, I'm doomed to end up in Mel Senshir, and I'd rather... I'd rather cut the nose off my face than live a soldier's life. I want some freedom, and you're going to help me, right? Now, time for my part Hello. in this business. How are you? A drink? A plate of rest? You must be here about the notice. How do I know? Simple. No one but potential applicants will even speak to me. Must be because I reek of desperation. Of one sending young souls off to certain doom. I have served the Alpha Merchant Navy since my youth, when I began my career as a deckhand on the good ship Steadfast. <laughs> It is the hideaway of dead Kell and his crew. The legends speak of it as a damned isle, a horrible scar on the face of the world. To be quite honest, no one is sure of its true location. For the best, I say. He is the scourge of the Frostbreak Sea, a terror who seems intent on sinking every ship we sail from Rathir or elsewhere. If only he'd stayed dead. It's the fierce, icy ocean north of the plains of Erethel. A busy place of trade and transport, and the occasional treachery. <laughs> well, once you hear the details, I'm sure you will lose interest. Everyone else does. We of the Alpha Merchant Navy wish to hire a representative to track and kill the notorious pirate Dead Kell and his crew of murderous hanged men. They had many names for him during the Middle Kingdom's era. Ghost of the Frostbreak, the Blood Red Sail. Every captain and swab on the Frostbreak Sea feared for their lives when Kell raised his flag. Many widows were made in those days, my friend. Of course, that was centuries ago, before he was killed. Oh, yes. The Alpha Navy put an end to Dead Kell generations ago. They tracked him to his island hideaway and turned his ship to tinder. There were no survivors. Now you understand our predicament. <laughs> Our shipping and transport lanes are a gauntlet. Dead Kell preys on our ships like scabs feast on the dying. We are helpless against him. We're losing one in five vessels departing from Rathir. Good sailors gone. Vital supplies sent to the depths. This must end now. <laughs> you will. Truly. I must admit, I did not anticipate this development. Here is your payment. It is made in good faith. Once you've made your preparations, report to Captain Rast Brattigan in the Keys. She will be your escort. Rast is a good and loyal companion and a competent sailor, despite what they say. May Lyria protect you, and may her breath ever be at your back. Good luck. She perches along the pier like a seabird, never venturing far from her ship, the Calamity. Nothing causes a captain and crew more grief than those little blue beasts. Their poisonous secretions can eat through a new hole in a matter of days. They're not native to this region, but they stow away in the shadowy holes of ships sailing up from the north. 
She is the only captain willing to pursue dead Kel into the mists of the Frostbreak Sea. Perhaps it is her courage, her skill, her determination. Oh, that's not it. Rast is a good woman, but unaware of her own faults, of which there are many. They don't call her the worst sailor alive for nothing. They are Dead Kell's legendary crew, a trio of villains so sinister that their names sink the heart of every sailor. But I won't tell you any more. No, you don't need anything else to stoke your worry. Trust us. A moment, love, I'll be right with you. A moment, love, I'll be right with you. Well, hello there, stranger. Grab a mug and have a drink if you want. I don't own the place, but I know the drink is good. After all, I brought it here. Isn't it a grand thing? Takes whatever swill I want and turns it into the sweetest summer wine. I'll be the richest wine merchant in Rathir. I've been a wine merchant for several years sailing up and down the coast to find the best vintages. But I don't need to do that anymore, now that I've got the chalice. The city has seen better times, and it's been frantic here ever since the war touched down into Willy. But I love it all the same. Ah, I was wondering when word would get out that I had the bobble. Just recently came to it. But I'm afraid I can't give it over, stranger. It's not for sale. Ten years, this siege has gone on too
watch. Move along. Curios, talismans, items of power. Had to be somewhere here with the keys or curios, talismans, items of power. Mind your step. City Watch. Captain Talibor? He's been out on his duties. Ah, but there he is, right there. You're in luck. Think of the watch as the right hand of the Orbicant. We keep the prison, keep the peace amongst the people. To be honest, crimes in Rathir are uncommon, outside the lower tunnels at any rate. An occasional drunken brawl among Varani, disputes between merchants, that is all. The Wending, where the poor live, extends into tunnels carved in the rock. Crimes there are hard to police, and the tunnels run deep. Thieves and the like will vanish there, and re-emerge when we are gone. The council which governs Rathir. No one knows who is on the council, though you may see their palace atop the spire. They are cloaked in robes and shadows, but do not concern yourself with that. My rank is first of the watch and I report directly to Captain Talibor. Good then. My fine fellow. A captain of the watch never rests, but you've caught me at a good time. If I can do anything for you, simply ask. 